Meanwhile, members of South Dakota's congressional delegation are grudgingly going along with President Trump's proposed bailout. Kelloland's Perry Groton finds out what kind of reception this plan is getting on Capitol Hill. Perry? Well, Sammy, President Trump says farmers will be the biggest winners once new trade deals are reached with countries like China. But the emergency aid is proving to be a tough sell among lawmakers from farm country. U.S. Senator John Thune thinks the emergency aid is a recognition by the Trump administration that tariffs are hurting the ag economy. These um, proposals are designed to lessen that financial impact on farmers and ranchers across the country. I think a much better solution, honestly, is to expand and open more markets. And it seems to me, at least, that the tariff policy runs counter to that. Thuin says he doesn't know how the money will be distributed, but expects the payouts to be related to the amount of bushels farmers produce. It still is an inadequate and short-term solution to what we really need in the longer term. U.S. Senator Mike Rounds agrees, saying the emergency aid is only a quick fix at best. Most people in South Dakota do not disagree with the president in trying to fix it. What they're concerned with is whether or not the strategies that he's employing are working. But Round says farmers need financial help to get them through hardships created by higher tariffs. But he says the bailout still might not be enough. Right now, just the loss in soybeans alone is over $9 billion in the United States. The total package that's being proposed is $12 billion. So it's probably not enough to take care of all of the losses for all of the different crops. Now, President Trump announced today the U.S. and the European Union have agreed to work toward zero tariffs and that the EU will buy more U.S. soybeans. Representative Christy Noem attended today's announcement at the White House. We'll have her reaction on the night beat at 10.